Hello, people of the internet! My name is Johnny, and welcome to, like, our third or fourth FNAF movie video in a row. Obviously, there's been much to discuss recently with the upcoming FNAF movie, because we just got our final trailer for the film. This time, it was a full two and a half minute long trailer, so we had a lot to sink our teeth into. If you missed my reaction and analysis of the trailer, I'm gonna leave those videos linked down below, but now for today, we got a whole bunch of more news to talk about. Ranging from new footage, from other variations of the trailer, behind the scenes, YouTuber cameos, as well as a scrapped cameo. So if you're excited for all the FNAF movie news, subscribe to the channel. That's the best way to stay up to date with all the brand new news regarding the film. Let's kick this video off by taking a look at some brand new footage for the movie. A new short trailer was released and towards the beginning, we get a few extra shots of Michael, William, and Abby. Some brand new voice lines of William saying the security gig and then Michael responding, how soon can I start? Uh, yeah, I was just calling about that job to secure security gig. How soon could I start? The rest of the trailer seems to be the exact same shots we got in the full trailer, but it's pretty interesting that we got some new footage towards the beginning. And very quickly, while we're on the topic of the trailer, still we just found out who did the music, because Totem tweeted out Five Nights at Freddy's featuring custom music from Totem. They specialize in music, seems like specifically for movie trailers, and they've worked with a whole bunch of films coming out now you may recognize. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, Avatar The Way of Water, Transformers Rise of the Beast. I mean, is there a movie they've not done? So quite frankly, just another amazing crew member to add on to this already incredible movie. Next up, you may have missed, but in one shot in the final trailer, we can see an Employees of the Month board. Well, did you know that most of the employees on that board are actually famous FNAF YouTubers? You got Razbowski on there, Fusion Z Gamer, DJ Sturf, Baz, Doco, Apeit, Ryan. Right next to Fusion Z, gamer for the month of May. Apparently, John Wolf also makes a cameo. So just a bunch of heartwarming cameos for fans to point at in the theater. I know there was a bit of drama going on with people not wanting and some people wanting some YouTubers to be in the film. And honestly, I think this is the best way to include those YouTubers. Of course, we did have the surprise cameo of Corey X Kenshin towards the end of the trailer. He's the cab driver with Abby and Golden Freddy. But since there are just so many popular FNAF YouTubers, it's going to be pretty difficult to pay respect to all of them in this film without making it super apparent and distracting. So once again, something like this where it's just kind of like that SpongeBob meme where he's pointing to himself barely visible on the screen on his TV. I know that's the way Daka wanted it and quite frankly, I think that's the best way to do it. And speaking of Easter eggs, you might have missed this as well. A new character being introduced for this film is Carl being played by Joseph Poliquin. And in the one shot you can see him in this trailer, he's standing outside with also some more brand new characters. Max being played by Cat Connor Sterling as well as Hank being played by Christian Stokes. And some keen-eyed FNAF fans noticed that Joseph's shirt actually has the Midnight Motorist minigame from FNAF 6. Joseph would go on Twitter to confirm this easter egg, saying nothing gets past FNAF fans. You can thank the amazing Natalie O'Brien and her costume team, who wanted to pay tribute to the games. During my fitting, they tried many shirts out, but when they put on the hashtag Midnight Motorist shirt on me, I knew that was going to be the shirt Carl wore. So just another example of some fantastic easter eggs for hardcore FNAF fans to point out. We do also know of a few more other easter eggs, most notably Chica's Magic Rainbow's ice cream shop. Seems like that's gonna be an attraction at the mall that Michael works at before he gets the gig at Freddy's. And very quickly, let's actually go back to Hank, because a lot of people have pointed out in the trailer, it looks like we can see his death scene. Looks like at some point when he goes into the pizzeria, he makes his way to the janitorial closet, in which Bonnie's also present. And then very shortly after, we see a bloody hand hit the window of the closet, a lot of people thinking that's where Hank dies. Well, we've got his actor, Christian Stokes, tweeting out, don't rule old Hank out just yet. He might surprise you, bring on the pizza. So could this tweet be hinting the fact that Hank might survive that encounter with Bonnie? And if that's the case, hopefully the same thing happens with Kat's character of Max, because it too looks like she might be killed by the hands of Freddy, quite literally the hands of Freddy. And lastly, for Easter eggs and cameos, I do want to touch upon this, because I thought it was pretty interesting. We just talked about Corey X. Kenshin and his role. Towards the end of the film, 
film, well, did you know that originally Andy Field, the voice actor for Hand Unit, was going to be that cab driver? He tweeted out, have y'all seen the new FNAF trailer? Check out my guy at Corey X Kenshin at the end. I auditioned for that role, but he's crushing it. Quite frankly, that's something I didn't even consider already existing FNAF cast and crew members like the voice actors and actresses. Making cameos in the film we did earlier this year get new reports that brand new voice actors and actresses were going to be voicing the main gang, though it appears that those castings have since been removed from the IMDb page for FNAF, so still unsure whether or not those are actually going to be the case. But either way, it'd still be super cool to get official voice actors for FNAF in the movie. All right, well now let's move on to brand new shots and behind the scenes footage for the film. First up, we got a brand new look at Vanessa and Michael. This was officially released by Universal and it depicts the two characters outside of the prize counter. Once again, Vanessa on the left being played by Elizabeth Lale, Michael on the right being played by Josh Hutcherson. You can see a whole bunch of FNAF merchandise in the back, plushies, masks, as well as cups made for the film. We got another officially released still of Mike from the trailer. In the trailer, at least, this happens right after Freddy looks at him on the stage. Unsure if in the final film those shots do in fact take place back to back, we're just gonna have to wait and find out. And then lastly, for official stills, we get a shot of Abby being played by Piper Rubio, hiding behind an arcade machine in the arcade room. We did get this shot in the official trailer, and there's a bit more context behind the scene in the leaked trailer, but of course I won't be going into that, we're just gonna have to wait and see how Abby gets out of this one in the final film. Moving on now to some behind the scenes looks, first up we got director Emma Tammy directing what appears to be Freddy Fazbear himself. Looks like this is taking place in the dining room of the pizzeria. You can see Pirate Cove off to the left, the main stage off to the right. Of course, we can see someone directing a camera. Also off to the right side in front of the stage, we can see Abby's backpack. And of course, we got Freddy Fazbear himself standing off the stage, which is pretty interesting, wondering what he's doing in this situation. Maybe he's confronting someone, trying to attack someone while they're all in the dining room. And once again, just I cannot get over how fantastic these animatronic characters look. They were made by the Jim Henson's Creature Company, and they are fully fledged, full scale animatronics that people can operate. Now, it does seem like in some shots with maybe more complex movement, there will be people inside the suits based on some more behind the scenes uh, looks for the film. When quite a while ago, we got a photo of someone creating, sculpting a suit of Freddy Fazbear that someone can wear. And lastly, for this FNAF News video, we got a full brand new look at Bonnie, Freddy, and Chica all up on the main stage. This shot is absolutely absolutely fantastic probably the first time we see these guys actually in full all together in a perfect shot with no weird lighting from the stage lights. No, they're all there in all their glory. And they look absolutely fantastic. Spot on recreations from the game. Once again, a huge shout out to the Jim Henson's Creature Shop. I really do not know how they pulled off creating such accurate depictions of the original gang. This was officially released by Universal and Bloody Disgusting. I really do hope at some point in the future we can see a look at Foxy because he's missing from this picture. Though it does make sense, you know, he's off in Pirate Cove. This is a shot of only the main stage. But quite frankly, I just boot up this image every now and then to get myself hyped for the movie because I still, once again, I keep saying it, I can't get over how good these guys look. It's going to be so amazing to see these guys up on the big screen October 27th. Get hyped. That's going to do it for this behind the scenes look at the upcoming FNAF movie. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, my trailer reaction and analysis linked down below, and I'll catch you all on the flip side. Goodbye.